Hey everyone, Tyler Ekdahl here again, um, Togan's Pro Staff member, uh, Forge Fly Fishing, Avid Fly Fisherman, um, if any of you watched my videos before you've, uh, met me. Um, I'm here today to go through another pattern with you, um, we're gonna be going through, um, an ostrich hurl damsel fly pattern that is a excellent pattern I want to share with you once again not too difficult of a tie um, but a great pattern um, if we can kind of see this guy here one second I'll get something a little better there you go nice little damsel pattern it's a little bit of a large size but um been my go-to great movement in the water so yeah I'm gonna be going through a little video on how to tie this guy so you can all have a couple of them in your box uh, today what you're gonna need is um token size 12 curved nymph hook um, Togan's black mono eyes I use this Togan's prison dubbing and light olive this is actually a great dubbing blend I found out. It's very nice. Um, for this pattern, I use a, one second, sorry guys, a small silver wire. You're going to need some light olive, olive ostrich hurl. And some pheasant tail. Um, the pheasant tail I've done in like a darker brown color in um, black and in this blonde. They've all been pretty good, but I, I do like the look of the blonde on it. So yeah, let me get everything situated here and we'll start tying. Okay, um, for color thread on this, I forgot to mention again, um, I'm going to be using like a tan gray brown color, but you can use like a light olive or green. It doesn't really matter. Most of your thread's hidden except for the whip finish at the end, so... As long as it's matching the pattern somehow, you should be just fine. So, we'll start by tying on our thread here. Again, another video I'm going to share with you with these token scissors that I'm absolutely in love with. Check them out. That click is satisfying. Anyways, back to our pattern. So, like usual, I have never have anything out, so just goes to show you that I'm unprepared. But... Now I'm showing you step by step. So you take the mono eyes out of the bag. Take the mono eyes. And we're going to tie them on. A, a, like a, I don't know. An eighth back or something. Not quite at the front. Oh I'm getting all tangled up here. On my callousy hands. So I take them. My mono eyes. I turn them the same way as shank. Probably had three. Three turns. And you can spin them to the desired position you want. So, now you're going to go... Sorry, my hand in the way. Crisscross this side to that side. This side to that side. This side to that side. Build up a bit of a... Cross stitch there. Now what you're going to want to do... You want to take a couple wraps right in the very front of it. Sorry, hit my eye there at the thread. Going behind, couple wraps right in behind it. Now at this point, to lock everything in, you're gonna helicopter underneath these eyes and around. Under, around, under, around, under, around. And there you go. Make a little thread base here. Now, we're going to come in with our silver wire. Silver wire. We're going to tie that in along the shank. All the way down. There we go. Now, ostrich hurl. Find yourself about five or six long strands. Um, once again, I should have had this done, but I don't. I got a couple short ones mixed in there that I don't like. So, I'll take those short ones. So there's four pieces, sorry guys. 
I'll grab another two. I like the look of six of them. There we go. Six strands of ostrich trail. Sorry, I'm a little finicky here. Picky on all my tips matching up. Somewhat the same. So, I'm going to measure length of the hook. Wow. There we go, finally. Bring that back. I'm going to tie on this ostrich roll. A couple loose wraps. One, two. So you can look at the placement. I like that. One of these are a little long. That one, perfect. Come in. Two more tighter wraps. And once again, like always on these type of patterns, you're going to want to go under everything once or twice. There we go. Now, we'll make our way back up to the eyes. In all honesty, I jump in front of the eyes just to let it rest there. Take your ostrich roll, work it upwards to get all these fibers out. Oops. And then you're going to just give it a little twisting motion. As you can see, it all tighten up. There we go. Then we're going to start forming a body here on our way up with the ostrich roll. By the way, this ostrich trail has a crazy good look in the water. Tons of movement. So now, sometimes I'll throw a little wrap over top of the eyes too, just to give it there. Now we're going to tie that off right in front of the eye. Come in with our scissors. Snip that out. I'm going to put my feather away here. A couple extra. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to come in with this silver wire and make a few segments throughout this guy. Four, five, six. I might be squeezing in seven in this one. And tie off your wire. Helicopter your wire out. Done. So now take your thread and jump right behind the eyes. You're going to take, I don't know, 10, 12 strands of your pheasant tail. You're going to take the thick end and put it towards the back. Keep your tips out front. Oops. One, two loose wraps. Looks good. Pull a little tension. One in front. And all these tips you're going to want to cut out of here. Now we take these tips. The big pile of leftover tips. Break them into two groups. Keep it pretty even if you can. You take one set. And tie it right behind the eye here. Pinch with one hand, one, two loose wraps. Look at it, might need to adjust it a bit like I need to. There we go, I like that. And then same thing, coming to the other side with the other section of pheasant tail. I'm gonna tie it in down this side of the hook. One, two. I like the look of it. One tight one in behind. There we go. So this point, we're almost done. We're going to take some of our Togan's Light Olive Prism dubbing. Oh, that's a bit much. Remember, less is more dubbing. It gets bulky. If you loosely... It depends if you want a nice tight look. Or, um... Yeah, that's once again way too much. I like to wrap my dubbing on quite loosely, so I don't have to brush it out as aggressive. Now I'll put a couple wraps in and around the eyes, a couple wraps right up front, pushing all my fibers back, not crowding the eye. There we go. We can any any you can trim those out later. So now we take our thick pheasant tail. 
See these wings? Pull them out into position. You do add a little resin up here later, so if your wings aren't perfect, when you add your resin, you can pull them out. They so take this all the way up to the hook of the eye. You're going to, once again, do one or two light wraps until you get it exactly how you like it. There we go. So now I'm going to pull it tight. One, two, one in behind my eye. Trim it out with scissors as close as you can. Take your whip finish. One, two, three, four. Let's snip that um, thread right out of there. At this point, I take some scissors and clean up this dubbing right around the eye of the hook just so when I'm out there if I got any cold hands don't have problems getting any thread through it also take a dubbing brush don't don't laugh my dubbing brush is a um, sharpie with some velcro glued onto it and I'll come under here just kind of work out some of that dubbing get it worked into the pattern there we go that looks nice and buggy couple of these long fibers you can just either trim off yourself or pull them by hand nice buggy looking pattern so there you have this uh, damsel pattern that has worked well and has a uh, great movement in the water it's fish like that right so, take a little bit of your Solar Res, Raid Zap Resin, Golf Resin, whatever you got. Put some up on the wing case and on your whip finish. Be careful of this stuff. Um, at the beginning when I started using resin, I wouldn't know. And I'd forget to clear out my eye here. And sometimes I'd get to the lake all of a sudden I'd go to throw my thread through. And I uh, put resin over top of my the eye. I couldn't get the thread through. There you go. I'd, I'd like to, once I get one little coat of resin on there, I'd like to throw another one up on top. Give it that nice shine. Protect my pheasant tail. There you have it. Killer little damsel pattern. Um, where's my finger? Again, great little damsel pattern, great movement in the water. Try it out. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, get a hold of me. Once again, Tokens Pro staff member, go check them out. They have everything you need if you're missing anything to tie up this pattern. And yeah, enjoy your weekend and uh, tight lines.